a fiscal showdown, the battle over America's future tax landscape. As the 2024 election looms, the air thickens with debates and decisions that could reshape the economic future of every American. At the heart of this pivotal moment is a looming deadline, the expiration of the Trump-era tax cuts, officially known as the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, TCJA, of 2017. These cuts, once heralded for bringing temporary relief to many, now stand on the brink of dissolution, sparking a fierce battle across the aisles of power. President Joe Biden has taken a firm stance, declaring on social media that the tax cuts, which he argues benefited the wealthy and biggest corporations at the expense of ballooning the federal debt, should not be renewed. If I'm re-elected, it's going to stay expired, he asserted, drawing a line in the sand against policies he believes have deepened fiscal disparities. The TCJA lowered the corporate tax rate significantly and adjusted individual tax rates, among other changes. Now, as these provisions are set to expire starting in 2026, a question hangs in the air. What comes next? On the other side of the battlefield, Republicans, fortified by their control of the lower chamber since 2023, are maneuvering to make these cuts permanent. We need to provide some much-needed relief and certainty to hardworking families and Main Street businesses, argued Rezever Vern Buchanan R. Fla, emphasizing the GOP's commitment to preventing a potential tax increase on Americans across the board. Yet, President Biden's counterstrategy is clear and calculated. His recent proposals aim to increase taxes on the wealthiest, a move intended to balance what he sees as a scale tipped unfairly in favor of the rich. One significant change includes raising the top tax rate on long-term capital gains and dividends to 44.6%, a stark increase aimed at ensuring that income from investments is taxed similarly to wages. This is more than a fiscal debate. It's a moral one, touching the very fibers of American values of fairness and equity. The ongoing discourse reveals a stark division, not just in policy preferences, but in visions for America's future. As as Republicans decry Biden's plans as potentially the highest top capital gains tax in over 100 years, according to John Karch of Americans for Tax Reform, Democrats counter that their approach could slash the national deficit by up to $5 trillion over the next decade, contrasting sharply with the $3.5 trillion that extending the Trump tax cuts could add to it. Behind the scenes, political dynamics simmer with complexity. Despite Biden's ambitious plans, resistance from within his own party, particularly from pivotal figures like Senators Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin, has tempered broader legislative changes, allowing the essence of the TCJA to endure. This internal discord underscores the challenging path forward for any substantial tax reform. As Americans look ahead, they face not just a policy choice, but a defining decision about the direction of their country. Will they endorse a vision that strives to redistribute economic power more equitably, or will they choose a path that consolidates it, maintaining the status quo? The answer will shape the economic landscape of the United States for years to come, impacting everything from household finances to national debt. As this fiscal showdown unfolds, it serves as a reminder that beyond the numbers and legislative jargon lies the real impact on real people with real lives and livelihoods hanging in the balance. The outcome of this battle will not just write a new chapter in economic textbooks, but will script the financial futures of millions of Americans, making it one of the most significant decisions of our time.